Hello, welcome to another new video. I secret shopped your slime shops. How I went about with this is I found your slime shops through Instagram. Basically, I just looked on my followers list and search and hunt, search. Excuse you. Anyways, uh, and just search for slime shops. Here's the first shop that I secret shopped called Slime Donut Shops. And my first impression was this is definitely a small slime shop because they only had nine sales. And I was just happy to support a small business. So my package included a generous amount of goodies. So it had candy, borax, and their business card on the back. There's also like a slime cure sheet all in one, a cute a bunny charm and a handwritten note so far i thought everything was just professional with like the labeled borax baggie and everything just in a bag this is the first slime that i bought and here are the pictures they're nice and bright you know exactly what you're going to get this is called pumpkin spiced latte and it was $12.99. It's a school glue thicky with a little bit of insta snow powder made with a pumpkin spice scent. What I found interesting was all of the slimes in this package were saran wrap which I thought was brilliant and affordable way of protecting the slimes from leakage because bubble wrap can get quite expensive so I really appreciate the thought of using whatever you have to protect the slimes. This also has the latte part in a separate small baby mini container. My awful attempt at trying to emulate the pumpkin spiced latte. I tried. At first the slime was a bit sticky which is not a problem. I just had to activate it and it was all good. This slime is very, very stretchy. It also makes great bubble pops. No matter how you play with this slime, you can guarantee a bubble pop. I also really like the details of the black specks to, I assume, represent the pumpkin spice. I'm gonna be honest, I've never tried anything pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin spice drink, or whatever, so I don't exactly know what it's supposed to smell like, but this smells really good and how I would imagine it to smell like is a very warm scent. Very delicious. Next up is Love Letter, and this was also $12.99. I do want to say that these pictures does the slime no justice. It is so beautiful in person. I suggest having consistent lighting in your listing pictures because that plays a big part in selling a slime. Description says that it's an unscented clay slime and it's very creamy and spreadable, which I definitely agree with. It also has a separate bag with heart glitter and confetti where you can add them yourself which I appreciate thank you so much for doing that if you've been watching my channel you know that I've had not so great experience with that not only is it creamy and spreadable it's just the texture is just so nice glides right out of the container smoothly and I would say it's a great table slime it's holdable and it's good for poking, great for bubble pops. It does have a very, very mild sweet pea lotion sweet scent to it. It's subtle, so it's not exactly unscented. Lastly, I ordered a custom slime. So what you do is you pick the texture and then you pick 
the scent. Depending on the texture, it varies from prices between $13 and $14. And I love how there's different options, like more than five options, which really feels like it's a truly custom-made slime. And then you pick a color that you want and the add-ons. So I chose blue, the texture to be a jelly slime. And then I chose the lollipop scent, mainly because I was curious on what that would smell like. And then I chose female slices for the add-ons. So my custom slime was $14. I was looking forward to receiving this because I wouldn't know what it was going to look like and when I saw this, I thought, ooh, it looks so pretty already and the seller was really generous in giving me glitter as well besides the female slices in a separate baggie outside the container. Thank you for doing that. Oh my gosh, the color is just so gorgeous absolutely loved this one maybe because i just haven't experienced a jelly slime in a while i just thought wow i really love jelly slimes how come i never buy jelly slimes it's also thick and i just really love the look of it not the stretchiest because of the thickness but you can still stretch it really nice to squish and poke and i love the scent it's very fitting for a lollipop. Smells like sweet candy. The seller also gave me an extra slime, which I did not expect. It's a clear blue slime with neon green flown beads. Reminded me of a store-bought slime because of the smell and the rubbery texture. Had a bit of a chemical smell, but very mild. This is an extra slime. It's not the main part of the review. I'm just telling you my experience with it. Next shop is Peachy Jelly Slimes and my eyes went straight to the listing pictures of the slimes because they are so nice. I thought, okay, you got some nice photo editing skills with the PNG format and the background cropped out and everything. They also look aesthetically pleasing as well. This is another small slime shop. In my package, it had borax, a business card, and two Toy Story stickers. Toy Story is hands down one of my favorite animated movies ever. There was also a beautiful handwritten card. This one is called Lava Rock and there are three size options that you can choose from. Obviously, the bigger the size, the more expensive it is. I got the biggest size which is 8 ounces and that is $9.34. It's described as a crunchy clear slime base with a neon orange clay ball where you can mix them two together to create a crunchy and soft butter slime and it's also scented like oranges. Before I talk about the texture, and the scent and all that. I just want to say when I first saw this, I thought it was so stunning. I mean, look at the colors. That red it is so saturated and just so nice. So at first, the red clear part was sticky, but I didn't want to add activator yet because I wanted to see if I really needed it. So I played with it for a bit at first and good thing I didn't add any activator and good thing it was a little bit sticky because it held everything together. So it says that inside it has a neon orange clay ball. I don't know if it was already mixed during shipping, but I didn't see any of that. It says that it's scented like oranges, but I didn't get that at all. It smelled like sweet marshmallows and it kind of smelled like play-doh in a way but in a good way so what makes this crunchy is the pieces of white styrofoam and i thought that it would be crunchier than it was it probably needed a bit more of the styrofoam the texture is also quite unique because it's not straight up butter slime it's not a straight up crunchy slime it's like a mix of all different types of slimes This one is a DIY 
clay butter slime and I actually think this is my first one so I was super excited for this I also got it because it was labeled best seller uh, so this is dino butter slime I got it for $10.19 the clay sculpture and the slime came in separate containers description says that it's a thick and glossy white base and it's scented like chocolate chips First of all, I definitely did not want to mix the clay dinosaur into the slime because it is so cute. Already I can tell how underrated the seller is because you are so talented at these clays. I could never. The slime base was sticky so I had to add some activator. After you mix in the dinosaur, it becomes this really thick, creamy, buttery slime and it's just so nice. The green becomes more apparent after you mix it in. I'm actually not fond of chocolate scents as much but if you do you will like this because it does smell like chocolate. Another DIY clay slime. This one is called Strawberry Cheesecake Waffle and it was $10.19. Everything came in its own container. It's described as a fluffy and thick slime. A pink base with a white and pink waffle clay that you mix in yourself. It's also scented like strawberries. There's also a red glossy clear slime that represents the jam. I loved assembling the clay and the jam even though I kind of messed up there, especially the jam part. It was really fun to mix in to see what the texture would be like and it did not disappoint. Such an amazing texture. It is so creamy. It reminded me of a bubble gum really stretchy and matte. After mixing everything, it was a bit sticky so had to activate it. The scent is heavenly. It smells like strawberries. It smells really good. And that wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and just thank you for being patient with me. I know I haven't been uploading consistently but I'll try my best to uh, upload more often. Right now I'm just currently working on myself, you know, my mental health and don't forget to take care of yourselves. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!